The poppy installation at the Tower of London is by Paul Cummins, a ceramic artist, with help from Tom Piper, a stage designer. Its name comes from a Derbyshireman who died in Flanders. He wrote of the blood-swept lands and seas of red where angels fear to tread. There are 888,000 246 poppies, one for each British and colonial death in the First World War. The Prime Minister, David Cameron, told the House of Commons it was a stunning display and extremely poignant. The Washington Post described the installation as a must-see on the tourist trail. CNN remembered John McRae's famous poem, which launched the poppy metaphor. In Flanders' fields the poppies blow, between the crosses row on row that mark our place. The professor of the history of war at King's College observed that since the war is generally misunderstood, such popular interest is encouraging, and the more people who have an opportunity to visit the poppies, the better. The Mayor of London called for the installation to be kept in place a bit longer. A spokesperson for the historic palaces responded that the transience of the installation is key to the artistic concept, with the dispersal of the poppies into hundreds of thousands of homes marking the final phase of this evolving installation. The actress, Sheila Hancock, suggested that the poppy should be mown down by a tank to commemorate the horror of war. Jonathan Jones, an art critic with The Guardian, also wanted more horror. He argued that, in spite of the mention of blood in its title, this is a deeply asceticised, prettified and toothless war memorial. Robert Hardman, for the Daily Mail, responded by calling him a sneering left-wing art critic. So what do I think? Well, as an art installation, it's hard to fault. As a war memorial, one might think it lacks pathos. But the one-for-one -one symbolism and the fact that the poppies are frozen in time save it from being floral bedding. For Pure pathos, a moat-filling tank of red liquid inspired by Richard Wilson's installation at the Saatchi Gallery would have been more telling and could have evolved into the water-filled moat which the Tower of London needs. But I doubt if this would have raised any money for soldiers' charities, as the poppies most certainly have done.